So, here we are live at the School of Calisthenics. I'm Jacko, and this today we're going to go through a core workout in the beautiful sun that is shining in through those windows. Um, unprecedented for the UK. So, core workout. Last those that joined last week, we had uh, we were working on some isometric strength. This idea of this this pillar strength, this this core to be able to maintain good alignment whilst we challenge ourselves in some different positions. Today we're going to look at core uh, in terms of the, the strength to be able to control some movements. Those of us who have done some of the other workouts with me will have seen that uh, we're very interested in this ability of the core to be able to make connections through the rest of the kinetic chain, so through the rest of your body. So we're linking in into the shoulders, into the hip flexors and legs. But today we're very much going to look at the strength of the core to be able to control some movements, but a little bit more isolated around that midsection. So we're looking at being able to control the spine and be able to come into flexion and extension of the spine. And we're also going to look at the control of the pelvis in these, as well as some rotational patterns, which obviously the spine can flex, extend, it can laterally uh, flex as well, as well as this rotation. We're going to look at the, the core strength to be able to do um, all of those things. We're going to be doing most of that uh, down then on the floor. So I've got a little mat, whether you have a little mat or anything that you can uh, just get comfortable on. I'm gonna take you through, we're gonna do six exercises in total, but we're gonna have them in two little tri-sets. So we're gonna do, a tri-set is like three exercises together. So we're gonna, I'll take you through each of the exercises in, in one little set. So it's a little mini set um, or mini circuit of three exercises. And then we'll have a break and then we'll go and visit the other ones, and then we may come back and go through once again. Um, so other than that, yes, a couple of other questions. First of all, is like, what socks have you got on, Jacko? Remember, no white socks up in here. Do you want to see? We've got some babies on today. Brand new babies. Check these puppies out. Bam! That's right. That is right. Pull them up tight. Pull them up high. It's... Uh, X-Men, the guy that shoots lasers out of his face. So, if you've got power socks on, get them on, pull them up high. If you've got white socks on, we don't want to see them in it. Get them out, throw them away. We don't want to see them. Um, and then the other thing, people are asking what the, what's going on down in the corner. Uh, those that watch you on YouTube, you've got a slightly wider view. That is Mrs. Jacko's kombucha. Um, kombucha is basically fermented green, white, well, green tea, Trishan, she was a mixture, a hybrid of green and white tea, and um, it's, uh, you've got some good, lovely uh, bacteria in there that are good for your gut, so that's a nice, nice little homemade uh, drink that we've got on the go, it's not, I'm not sure what people did think it was. Anyway, let's get into um, seven core then, are we ready to get, are we ready to go, let us know in the comments, um, are you ready for core, you're probably going to want to make sure you got a little glass of water, not cause light, this is just water. Make sure you got yourself a drink of water as well, because this is probably going to be better. We're going to go then through the first set of three exercises. I'm going to show you a easier version and a harder version for each of them, so you can choose what, what works for you. Um, work at a level that you can control, that's the most important thing. And then, um, and then we will get into it. And we're going to start, we're going to actually link them together. In a nice, uh, in a nice little circuit. So we will get, uh, we'll get started now. Move that way. Check them out. Seriously, don't be coming up in here with white socks on. You know it's true. You know it's true. You know it's true. Right. So one of the first things I'm just going to go through it super quick, so we understand. Those that have been on these before will know from me. We want to make sure that we are tucking the pelvis underneath, pulling the ribs down, and sucking that belly button in tight. So that we've got this nice straight line here. We don't want to see a position where um, we're arching and breaking out through, arching through the lower back and then seeing that chest and ribs pop up. We want to be tucking underneath, sucking that belly in time, pulling the ribs down. We're going to be focusing on that as a, as a key component to all the different movements we're going to do, whether we are going to then move from that position and flex the spine or whether we're going to move from that position and rotate the spine. We want to be having able to hold that good, position of that lower back, lower spine, and the pelvis. So think about tucking that underneath, squeeze those butt cheeks again, push them hard, hit them hard, so you know they're off. Okay, so the first one um, 
that we're going to do is a reverse crunch. And you're going to be able to feel this position to start with. So um, in this position, if I haven't got control of that lower uh, back and, and, and pelvis, you'll see that my sort of legs will just pull down on my hips and pull my hips that way and raise my chest up here. And you can see that hole, that space underneath my lower back. I need to clamp that down, but still do that. I'm raising my head up to talk to you, but do that with your head still on the floor. Don't create too much tension through your sort of neck and upper chest. So it's just coming from sucking belly button in, sucking that pelvis underneath, just like when I was kneeling up. Hold that position in there, and then we're going to have our hands then down on the floor, and we're just going to roll back and lift the hip up. When you come back down, you've maintained and come back to that same shape. Not driving up, coming down, and coming into that bad shape. See that? Suck underneath, suck that down. I drive up, I come back down. Not my back on the mat. Drive up, come back down. When you come back down with control, one vertebrae at a time. Good. That's our. That's effectively like our reverse crunch with a little bit of a hip raise. If you want to make this a little bit harder. We're going to look at it and we're going to, so that's our sort of side point. If you want to make it a little bit harder, put it coming up a little bit higher. And if you want to make it as hard as you can, we'll it back, it's driving all the way up to the top, and then controlling back down with straight legs. So hopefully you've had a go at each of those. The next exercise that we're then going to go through for that is it's going to be a leg lower. So your legs go straight up into the air. We're going to pull them down towards the floor. And you're only going to go as far as you can control with that lower back down and then pull them back up. So let them come down, pull them back up. See how far you can go down. Can you just scrape the floor, just kiss the floor and pull back up. If you start going down, and then we see this happening, you can see that on my lower back is now gone. I'll leave that other side, it's gone. That's, that means you've gone too far. You must maintain on all of these that position where you can, you can feel your lower back on the mat. Okay, so just have one more go. So how far can you go down before you're able to pull back up? Okay. And then our last one is then we're going to do, um, we're going to do an arm raise with that. So imagine that you've, um, You've took your legs down to the position that you can hold, what is good for you, so maybe you're up here. From there, you're then going to let go of the hands on the floor, and you're going to raise them up behind you and bring them back. And again, you're going to try and find the lower position you can. So it might be that I can lower all the way down to here. Once I can find that shape, can I keep that engaged good? And then raise my hands away and come back. And then the final version, if you want to make it a bit harder, is then pulling that upper, upper back up off the floor. So imagine I've done my leg raise, or my leg lower, sorry. I raise here, and then raise that upper back off, and come back in. So there are three exercises, okay? And we're gonna do them um, in, in, in conjunction together. So um, it's, it's almost like a massive rep. So, we're going to do one of each in a row, and then to make up our tricep, we're going to do 10 reps. So we're effectively going to do 30 of each exercise. Sorry, we're going to do 30 in total at 10 reps of each, but one after the other. That makes sense? I'll show you. So one rep would be one, um, one reverse crunch to leg raise. So up. I would then come down, and then the second exercise was leg lower, and then the third exercise was here, then come up. Back to my start, that's one rep. You're like, what? That's like, that's like a long rep, Jacko. And we're gonna do 10 of those. Yes, we're gonna do 10 of those in our first set. How are we feeling that people, are we ready to get going with it? Um, <laughs> That aggressive sock game. You know I'm coming up with that aggressive sock game. Are we ready to get going? Lots of thumbs up. Cool, cool, cool. Great. So, 10 reps. Each rep is effectively one of each of those three exercises. 
So each rep is three. We're going to go for 10, so effectively 30 exercises or 30 reps. Okay, we ready? Pull them socks on high. Anyone got white socks on still? Anyone? Get them off. Get them off. Right. This is good, but I promise you, this is going to start burning. And it's going to be, you need to make sure that when we come down each time, these socks are up. <laughs> but you need to make sure that that lower back is in control onto the floor. And then we need to go into the pain cave a little bit. You need to focus in. Don't let your technique drop just because you want to then work high. Use one of the easier exercise variations if you need to. Like it might be you get to rep seven, and the last three you need to do a slightly easier version of it. Great. What's important is that you're doing it correctly. Yeah? Okay, so get yourself ready. Get yourself mentally prepared to get into the pain cave. And then we're going to go with our uh, leg raise, and we're going to go nice and slow and controlled with me. Whether you're doing a, a harder version or an easier version, you stay on my tempo. My tempo is there, I'm going to count like. Time is just now going to be nice and slow, controlled all the way through the same speed. Okay, so I'm going to go in three, two, one. So we come up to the top, and then slowly we come down, hips are touching the floor now, leg lower, so lowering legs down, 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 and now hands up and chest off. There's one back to the middle. Up to the top, hold at the top, control down, slow, 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 slow. Hips touch the floor, legs coming down, arms go up, chest up, two, back to the middle. Legs up, control down, hips come down to the floor, legs are going down, hold our back on the floor, hands up, chest up, back in, two. This, by the way, that noise, that's my back. <laughs> Not what the other thing you've got to do. Legs coming down, hips to the floor. Legs are down now, hands go up. Just up, oh, back in. At three. Mm -hmm. What was that four? All the way three, just in case. Hips coming down, now legs coming down, arms going back. Back to the four. Legs up, hips coming down, hips coming down, lower back on the floor, legs coming down, hands up, five, mm -hmm. hips coming up, legs coming down, lower back on the mat, legs coming down, hands up, chest up, hold, six, four to go, drive up, control down, Legs down, hands up. Seven, three to go. Legs up, hips coming down under control. Legs down, keep working hard. Hands up, back in. Two, two to go. That was eight. That's my back. Drive up, hips coming down, lower back on the mat. Legs down. Hands up, nine, back to the middle. Last one, here we go, control it. Yeah. Hips up, Ooh. so you follow back here. Hips coming down, lower back on the floor. Legs down, hands up, back in. Ah. How do we find that? Ah. How's that go? Feeling these guys warmed up. <laughs> ben Moore, I'll tell you after how we're getting on. 10 reps, three exercises per rep. So effectively, we've just done 30. Hopefully, your hair isn't as crazy as mine is today. Lockdown hair, I call it. Different day, new hairstyle. Right. Next one, we're going to look at a different set where we're going to add in some rotational work now. Same thing, three exercises. One after each other, I'm going to show you each exercise and then we're going to do a different or easier variation of each of those. Um, so push proof. On the first one, you had to push very hard your hands into the floor. Yeah, so you're going to be pushing when you want to get your hand, when you've got on that one where lying on your back to get your legs up higher, you're going to be pushing down through your hands on that first one. 
Um, that is correct. So just answer a few questions as we go along. Uh, cool. We enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. Good. Right. So three more. Three more exercises, but we're going to add in some rotation on these ones. Uh, well, apart from the first one. The first one is going to be a straight leg sit up. So you're lying on the floor, pull your lower back down, hands are going to go up. You're going to try and come all the way up here, but without raising your feet off the floor. If your feet have to come off the floor a little bit, fine, but you're going to try to control down and up without your feet coming off the floor. Yeah, so lower back is always engaged there onto the floor and you are peeling yourself up one bit at a time and lowering down one at a time. Good. We're happy with that? So that's our straight leg sit-up. After that, I'm going to show you just one front one. We're going to then come to a um, what be a windscreen wiper. So we would come, hands are going to go outside, legs go to one side, back to the middle, and then across. If that's difficult, you're going to bend the knees, and you're just going to do it with bend knees. The important thing is when you control all the way down, when you pull back up, you're going to feel it on the side. So when I come down, I'm going to feel it on this side. Drawing and pulling up, making sure you maintain that good position. So we should on the side that you're not arched through that lower back. That lower back is still touching onto the floor, even when you're in this position. But now we're looking at controlling the pelvis, we're looking at that rotation. And you stand, come back to the middle, holding that good shape. Okay, and the last one. Is um, our old coach used to call these prep, but we've got prep with twists. So knees are going to be bent, you're going to reach over to the side, and you're going to come and come up, back down, and across to the other side. So we're coming with a, a diagonal, if you like. So from here, I'm coming up and reaching through, down through the side. Okay, so rather than, rather than being rotating and then coming up, we are rotating and coming up at the same time. You're going to find, well, well, so I said, you're going to find that maybe your feet might come off the ground a little bit on that one, but we're going to focus, have a chance to focus on the straight leg, sit at one, we're coming straight up with the feet down. Yeah, so one rep. Is going to be each one of those together. So we're going to start with our um, straight leg sit up. I'm going to just do one. I'm going to make sure I'm probably going to make sure I don't touch the wall. Rotate myself around so I don't touch the wall. But first one will be our straight leg sit up. So our hands in front. I pull the, the core in. I pull suck my belly button in. Make sure the lower back is engaged. The lower back is touching the floor. Core is engaged. And then pull myself up. Pull myself, let myself control back down, and then from there, legs up, over to one side, the other, so we're going to touch the wall, just in, so touch the other, back up, knees go down, one side, drive up, control back to the other side, and drive up. Oh. That would be one rep. I'd then go on leg straight and then back for my second rep. Okay, that makes sense. I'm just grab a quick little drink. So, three exercises straight leg sit up, windscreen wiper, you can do that with knees bent if you need to, and then uh, a diagonal prayer. So, coming from the side, rotating and coming up at the same time. It's like a, like a diagonal twisting sit up, effectively. Okay. <laughs> RS25046, uh, are we feeling the burn on that? Let us know how we're going. 
Um, are these for obliques or is some mobility work? It is. So those rotational ones, it's going to be, you're definitely going to be feeding that in your obliques. Think about the core rather than trying to isolate just one thing. Think about the core as this like whole trunk pillar strength that we're trying to be able to control lots of different positions. Last week we did some isometrics. This week we're looking at being able to flex and extend as well as rotate the spine whilst maintaining a good uh, pelvis position. Um, try not to think of things like in isolation as one. There's never going to be like one muscle working um, on its own. Okay, so those three exercises, back to back is going to make one rep. And again, we're going to do how many? 10. 10's the magic number, remember? No, but it's just we want to work. So these sort of stabilizing structures or stabilizing muscles around the core like to work or they're designed to work for time. Um, so they're more strength endurance type muscles. So we want to try and hit them for a longer periods of time to give them what they need. Um, so when we're doing 10 reps of this, each exercise is, or each rep is three exercises, so we're effectively getting 30 reps done, which is at that higher end of strength and joints, which is great for those core stabilizers. So let's get started. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna come side I'm gonna swivel around for my, um, my windshield wiper so I don't hit the wall. And then I'm going to scroll back to the other ones. So come with me. Control tempo wise is slow and control. We're trying not to rest, try and maintain a level of tension around the core um, the whole time. And um, uh, maintain the level of tension around the core the whole time. We don't really want to be um, sort of coming down and resting and relaxing at any point. We're trying to maintain. Um, Say so that level of engagement and tension. So, 10 reps. First one, straight leg sit up. So, here we go. We're going to peel up off the floor, feet stay down, drive up, slowly back down, keep your feet down. Good. There's one. Oh, that's the first one. Then bring the legs up. Our wings go up and control down. Nice and slow, trying to get 90 degrees of the hip. Drive back up to the top. Control down the other side. Good, back up, put the knee, feet down then onto the floor, and then over to the left, and we're gonna drive that way up. Good, control down to the other side, and then up, back down. Straight leg sits up, straight up. This is back number two, control back down. Good. Windscreen wiper to the left. Windscreen wiper to the right. Good. Feet go down. Rotate again. Over to the left. Don't wait up. Control down. Don't wait to the right. Good. There's two. Straight legs to these are going to be starting to better control right down. Good. Windscreen wiper. Legs to the left. Nice. Legs to the right. Control, control. Touch the floor. Back up. Down. Knees bent. Legs to the left. Up. Control down. Over to the right. Good. There's three. Woo, seven to go. Straight up. Sit up. Good. Control back down. Nice. Windscreen wipers. To the side. To the other side. Touch the floor. Just down. Back up. To the left. Ooh, to the left. Back up. Down to the right. Definitely up. Good. Get your roll down. Nice. Here we go. That's uh, four. Here's rep number five. Get your roll down. We're halfway through. We've done this one. Legs down. Go to the top. Drive down. Back through. To the left, exactly up, oh, down, 
to the right, diagonally up. There's five. Woo, come on. We now got halfway. Five more reps to get. Straight legs. Here we go. Up. Control down. Try and keep them feet down if we can. Windscreen wiper. Left side, dab the floor. Back to the top. Right side, dab the floor. Back to the top. Down we go. Knees bent. Over to the left, drive diagonally up. Good. Come down. You can see I'm working. Come like down. Drive diagonally up. Good. You can hear that. Up. Down. That's what's that? Six. Four to go. Ready. Straight up. One. Control down. Good. Which you might put swings up. Down to the left, stay with me, stay with me, just bend the knees if you need to. Down to the top, back down to the right, back up to the top. Good. Bend the legs, hands over to the left, diagonally up, control down. Good, try and keep it slow, diagonally up, control down. So, seven, three to go, ready? Hands up, come with me, come with me, come with me, try and keep the feet down, slow as you can, good, windscreen wipers, bend the knees if you want, the legs are up, going down to the left, down to the floor, back to the middle, down to the right, touch, back to the middle, good, bend the knees to the left, Diagonally up, control down to the right, diagonally up, as you can now, that's seven, three to go, regardless, whether it was seven or not, we're going to do three more, ready, three, two, one, up we go, and up, control down, windscreen wiper, legs up, down to the left, control, down the floor, bend the knees if you need to, drive up, Control down to the right, so it's the floor, back to the middle. Good. Bend the knees, there is the left. Diagonally up, control down to the right. Diagonally up, control down. Two to go, no rest. Straight in, up. Control down, windscreen wipers. Legs up, no rest. Legs to the left, touch, back up, legs to the right, touch, back up, bend the knees, over to the hands over to the left, drive up, control down, one more rep after this, come on, drive up, control down, last rep, straight in. Legs straight, control up, control down. Good, windscreen wipers, no less. Bend the knees if you need to make it easier. Down to the left, 90 degrees of the hip. Drive up, oh, working. Down to the right, touch. Back under control, good. Good for your obliques, like someone was saying on the comments. If you're working on your flight, it's gonna help. Ready, drive up. Oh, no, they didn't make it. Control down. Over to the right. Drive up. Uh, control down, finish. Control, 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 control. Woo! There we go. How did we find that? Did you come along and join with me? How did you find it? Let me know in the comments. And who wants who wants one more? Who wants one more, sir? Feeling a bit rushed, James. Okay, we can slow him down a smidge if you need to. Key is that's yeah, that you are controlling it and we're not rushing him, definitely. You're gonna feel that tomorrow. Dan Hicks is loving it. 
what day is it? As in today, it's Monday today. We always do call Mondays. That's what it, that's where we come at you with. Um, Claire on Instagram, definitely getting strong, great call. Good. Michelle wants more. Right, we've got some more. <laughs> so James has got a lot of burn on. Amelia. Right. So my plan for those that want a little bit of the challenge, a little bit of hard hitting at the end. Mark Bully on YouTube, loving it. Good. Okay. Right. Who wants to come with them? One last one. Are you ready? Do you want to want, to, want one last little bit of a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a kicker to finish us off at the end? More Claire, oh, more, more, more. Okay, loving it. Good, good, good. Okay, okay, okay. So people definitely want to. All right, let's let's go for this last one then. That's what we're going to do. Is we're going to put all those together in one big rep, and you're like, say what? Yeah, you're going to need you're going to need to make sure we're getting every little bit out. So that means we're going to go hip raise or leg rep all, all the way up to the top. We're then going to come. Down leg raise, and the arms are going to go back, come back to the middle. That's going to be our, that's like our, what we were doing that first set. Then your legs are going to go out straight onto the floor. Then you're going to do a straight leg sit up. You're then going to come and then do your wind stream wiper. And then we're going to do uh, that diagonal prayer, that diagonal sit up. And that, when you've done all six of those, that's one rep. Nasty. Yeah. But rather than doing 10, that's going to be crazy, we're going to do five reps in total of them. Yeah, it's going to be our last little bit of work. And if you think that each rep is probably going to take, uh, let's say we're looking at doing, I'll, I'll count them out on these. We're going to go um, three seconds on each one. We're going to count them. So if you total some time and attention, someone could do the math on that. Da, 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 it's a lot. <laughs> okay? So six exercises makes one rep. And we're going to do five lots of those. Are we ready? Give me a, give me a thumbs up if you're ready. <laughs> David Sherman, he wants to do 10. Hey, look, when we finish after five, you can let's see how we're going. You can, you, can, uh, you can be my guest if you want to keep on going. Obviously, all of these workouts go on to YouTube, so you can watch them back at any other time. You can do, you know, I'm, I'm keeping it in a relatively like safe area um, because there's going to be people of all different levels here. So use, use the sort of easier versions of each of these exercises if you need to. If you need to do slightly less volume or you, need to, you want to do more volume, then obviously be our guest. But come with us now, five more to finish off this workout. A few people are giving it those, a few people are giving it these. Um, right, let's get going, get started. So, first one, David Sermon. After we've done these, after we've done the first few reps of these, I'm going to be interested to see how you're feeling. Hopefully, you're just smashing it. But, we will see, we will see, we will see. Right, so the first one, hip raise, leg raise. Ready? Three, two, one. So we get to the top, slowly down. One, two, three. Leg lower, slowly down. One, two, three. Arms back at the top and we'll pause for one, two, three. Legs go down, straight up to the top. Drive up, control down. One, two, three. Uh, like wipers up in the air to the side. One, two, three. Back up. Then the other side. One, two, three. Legs go down. Arms to the side. Drive up to the top. Control down. One, two, three. Other side. Drive up. Top. And then down. One, two, three. There's one rep. So back to the leg raise, hip raise. Up to the top, control down. One, two, three. Leg lowers. One, two, three. Arms back, chest up. Pull up, back up. One, two, three. Legs go down. The sit up, straight legs. Control down. One, two, three. Wipers. Legs to the side. One. Two, three, back up to the top, down to the right. One, two, three, gentle touch, back up to the top. 
bend the knees, over to the left, drive up to the top, up and then slowly down, one, two, three, and to the right, up we come, and then slowly down, one, two, three. That's two reps. <laughs> Here we go. Three more. This is going to be nasty. Right. Um, legs up. Control ourselves down. One, two, three. Leg lowers. One, two, three. Arms up. Chest up. Three, two, one. Straight legs sit up. Up we come. Control back down. One, two, three. Leg wipers, down to the left, one, two, three, touch, back up, Whoa, now I'm looking, down to the right, one, two, three, keep this tempo, it feels a bit slower, doesn't it, I like it, legs down, over to the left, drive up, slowly down, one, two, three, over to the right, Drive up, diagonal, slow it down. One, two, three. Nice. Three reps. <laughs> two, two, go. Here we go. Hips up, legs up, control down. Three, two, one. Legs lower. Three, two, one. Lower back on. Three, two, one. Legs go down. Into that sit up. Here we go. Down and slowly. Three, two, one. Good leg wipers. Legs up. Down to the left. Three, two, one. Just a light touch. Slowly back to the middle. Good. Down to the right. Three, two, one. Light touch. Back to the middle. Three, two, one. There we go. Over to the left, knees bent. Exactly. Up. Now I'm working. Three, two, one. Over to the right. Exactly up. Three, two, one. Oh. All right. Last rep. That was four. This is number five. Making your best one, your hardest one. Work the hardest on it. You can make the tempo even slower. Get even slower than me. Ready? I'm going to make the tempo five. What? We do fives in this round, please. Hips go up. Down we come. Five, four, three, two, one. Leg lower. Five, four, three, two, one. Arms back. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Straight leg sits up. Good, and then slowly down. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Nearly there. Nearly there. Stay with us. Legs up. Leg wipers. Five, four, three, two, one. Toes touch. Back to the middle. Slowly, 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 slowly. And then down. Five, four, three, two, one dab on the right, slowly back up. Go, 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 go. go, go. good. Last one. Here we go. Over to the left. Knees bent. Drive up. So down. Five, four, three, two, one. Over to the right. Drive up. Yeah. Last one. Slow down. Say your prayers. Five. Four, three, two, one. Ah, oh, do it there. <sighs> How are we feeling? Grab yourself a quick drink. Mm -mm. <clears throat> the pain is real from Gavin Heath on the uh, on Facebook. We're on FaceTube, YouTube, Instatube, we're on all of everywhere. <laughs> David, uh, and then I want to know, uh, Kelly, Kelly Step, Abs Bernie, Claire, Corburn, Gemma, Ace. That was amazing. Good. Glad you liked it. A little bit different. 
Um, it'd be funny, it'd be interesting to see, like, um, one of the early ones, one of the, it's maybe the second one that I did, so two weeks ago, um, was probably the one that I personally found the hardest. Um, and I guess it just comes down to, some of it comes down to way you're strong, what you've done before. We used to do sessions when I played um, professional rugby. I mean, we're talking long, I retired seven years ago, but we spent, pre-season we would do, um, Claire's loving the routine for you. Yeah, it's a, it's a different way to, um, rather than doing like, it's a different way to just put those reps together. It's just a little bit of a different stimulus. Um, you could do that with any 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 sort of thing, but it works quite well with core because it's it's all relatively um, sort of similar. But we used to do loads of stuff like this, um, and we would do six sets of 30 reps of six different exercises. Like what? Yeah, it's 1,080 reps. And we'd do that three times a week, I think. It's something like that. Um, I can't remember what I find as hard as some of the isometric stuff that we were doing where I didn't spend as much time doing. So depending on where you're at, you may have found this one really hard or you might have found one of the other ones really hard. If you haven't tried any of the other ones, all of these workouts um, that we're doing on YouTube Live and Instagram um, every day, Monday to Friday, we've got loads more coming out this week. We've got some afternoon sessions as well happening. Um, so don't miss, don't make sure you check those out. Don't miss out for those. Um, we're trying to do as much as we can during lockdown. Steve too. Big high five, a thumbs up to you on uh, Instagram. Always loving Steve's work. Um, James loved the tempo. Good. It was uh, it was some good work. It was a quality, quality set. Yeah, it was interesting. It was different. It was different. Um, and so, yeah, if you if you wanted if you haven't done, check out some of the other workouts that we've already got up on there. I think we've got like twenty five workouts on there now. Um, and I'm sticking to a core sort of routine on a Monday, keeping Monday for ab club. We're gonna keep, gonna keep these in check. <laughs> uh, and I quite like it because making you. James said about the tempo, like he said, oh, I think some of those reps we did a bit rushed on the one before, so we slowed it down even more. And by doing it live in front of when you're just on your own, the fact that I know um, you're doing it here with me makes me want to work harder and do it my best as well. So thank you to all of you lot um, for watching as well because it really does. Um, yeah, makes it it makes a difference to. So even my training, um, which is, it's been an interesting um, learning curve for me doing these. Um, and then that said, handstanding. Who's who's still working on the handstands? Let's know in the comments. Anyone still? We still working on handstands? Or we, we've, you've had that much time in lockdown to work on handstands. You've nailed handstands now. Let me know how. Let us know in the comments. Are you still working on any handstands? Um, chances are, yes, yeah. <laughs> Lots of you still. Um, chances are you're still working you're not going to learn to do a handstand in like one or two weeks so we're still working on that I've got a session this afternoon it's going to be only on Instagram live it's going to do a shared screen on Instagram live with B-Boy Wicket our friend our man my man B-Boy Wicket in the, all the way in the, over in the States in the US um, he's a breakdancer a B-Boy and so we did a session a few weeks ago he taught me a three step um, and then he's got a handstand like sort of uh, breakdancing handstand variation. It's not that actually a little bit earlier yesterday. It's not as hard as you might think. That's at three thirty UK time, British summer time. You can tell it's British sometimes. The sun is out. Thank you, sun. Um, let's just say we'll give the sun a round of applause. It's absolutely killing it at the moment. Um, yeah, so that's at three thirty UK time. It's now coming up to uh, we're coming up to twelve o'clock ish. We're coming up to midday, so it's in just over three and a half hours. Join us on Instagram Live, um, and that's going to be uh, today's challenge as well for handstand up to Krona. And play a layer are back with their upside down T-shirts. The winner um, is going to be is, is going to get one of those um, player layer T-shirts where um, you're going to get it for free. But if anyone wanted to buy them, they're giving all the profits from those upside down handstand T-shirts. All the profits are going to the NHS. So it's a very good course. Um, but yeah, join us at 3.30 to see what that handstand uh, breakdancing is like. Um, you're going to even just tune in to see how bad I am at it. Um, but equally, you're going to be able to follow along as well. It's like B-Boy, he takes us through like a tutorial effectively how to do it together. Um, and then the challenge is going to be who can strike the handstand pose um, that, he's, that he's got for us. Um, and the winner will be announced tomorrow. So back into the daily ones. The winner will be announced tomorrow. Um, in the handstand up to ground challenge, uh, and then probably but yeah, there's a number of other things going on this week. If you want to get, uh, so we've got some workouts coming later in the day. We've got a workout earlier on Wednesday at nine thirty with Tim, 
Um, we've got some going on at four o'clock in the afternoon UK time, so hitting some different time zones around the world. If you want to get notifications straight to your phone of when they all are um, and what the schedule is for the full week, send a WhatsApp message. We've been WhatsApp notifications. A lot of you have already joined. But send a WhatsApp message. I want to join on WhatsApp, not a text message on WhatsApp. There's a WhatsApp notification. Send I want to join to plus four four seven eight eight three. One six one four three three. Nearly forgot it then, didn't I? Uh, I'm just going to type that. I'm just going to type that in the um, uh, that number in. So it's plus four four seven eight eight three one six one four three three. Rinse off by heart now. Send message. I'm going to put that on here as well. Send a message um, on WhatsApp. Plus four four seven eight eight three. One six one four three three. That's my answer here. Yeah. I'm going to pin that to the top. Um, that was just for the Instagrammers. Um, yeah. So um, get yourself into to, to the WhatsApp notifications. Uh, Owen is doing uh, a live tomorrow morning at eleven a.m. I am doing that handstand this afternoon uh, with Bebo Wicked in just over three and a half hours. Um, tomorrow afternoon, Judas and Yoga in the afternoon. Um, so I say, a lot, a lot, a lot going on. Um, a lot of additional lives on YouTube and on Instagram. So make sure you check all those out. Thank you for following along for Core. I hope your core is feeling good and um, that's been tempting as much as I can to try and make sure that it looks like we've been doing some decent work. Um, thank you very much. I will see you all again soon. My next YouTube live is Thursday. Say, so Owen tomorrow in the morning. Jude doing yoga with you in the afternoon tomorrow. Tim Wednesday morning. Um, and I'm back on Thursday morning. And then there's an awful lot else going on as well. Thank you all for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please go over. We're getting close. We're edging closer and closer to 100,000 uh, subscribers on YouTube. We'd really appreciate your you to subscribe. And if you've already subscribed, share with your friends and tell them to get involved. You can One of the most useful things you can do now is, uh, or the, I think what we've got for you you can do now, is the um, is the playlist of At Home for on Workouts. So you can see all them on YouTube. That you can you can literally watch these back again. If you want to do another set of this, you can watch this back in a few minutes once it's finished uploading, and uh, you can go fill your boots or go check out last week's or lower body. We've got some mobility in there. Tim did rings last week. We've got handstand stuff. Yeah, we've got a whole host of uh, different exercises for um, a workout. Sorry, for you to be able to train at home during lockdown. Um, and on that, remember, with bodyweight basics is still free. That's our full program. Um, it was part of a £40 bundle that we made free for lockdown. That is still currently free. Um, and then finally, those who are working on their handstands and one of the full programs follow. We've got that new handstand program that we are, we feel is like our best work that we've ever produced. Um, and we're running 50% offer off all of our memberships so you get access to that handstand program and all of our other programs. Um, that's throughout April. So if you sign up before the end of April, you get 50% off your first month's membership. You can cancel any time. It comes with a seven-day free trial. So in the UK, we say that's a no-brainer. It's like you don't wear white socks, get them out. But I know like, that's a no-brainer. 50% off uh, membership is a seven-day free trial. Well, try the seven days. If you don't like the seven days, cancel it. And then you don't get charged anything. So at least you get to see, get seven days of, of training out of it. Um, and 10% of all the revenue that we make from the virtual classroom in April, 10% of that we're giving to charities, we're giving to the NHS and a local charity here in Nottingham, helping people um, that are being affected by the coronavirus. Um, so, all together, we're trying to do um, our bit. Remember that hashtag, handstand up to corona, those that are working on the handstands and sharing that on Instagram. Um, other than that, I feel like that's everything I could possibly say about what we've got going on. Um, other than that, I'll say, uh, Thanks for following along the uh, core workout. We'll see you on the next uh, live very soon. And uh, thank you for joining us. Class dismissed.